Well, I guess the credit goes to Ohio State. They made some plays. They made some shots. And, uh, you know, Lyle put a couple long threes. He shoot 30%. Jackson, the same thing. I guess that's their day, but uh, very, very disappointed with a couple of our players. I just didn't think we brought it up. Even though we shot well at the beginning, I think the tone was set when uh, we went six for six and only had a small <coughs> lead because our defense was good enough. We them with an offensive rebound. They only ended up with six, but I think they had five in the first couple of minutes. So, uh, very poor performance inside. Uh, that Bridges was unbelievable other than the turnovers and a couple of those I questioned. It was a big call on that charge block. But, uh, you know, he was so efficient and he's really getting his feel back. And uh, uh, that was a positive. Uh, we're still struggling with the perimeter guys. And, uh, and Nick had a situation where sometimes you come back home and uh, just looked on a sink, and uh, that was too bad. It's probably his worst game, and he's been playing awfully well, so we're going to have to regroup there. Any questions? Um, so when, when it's 12 5 and you made those yeah. substitutions, that wasn't pre planned, that was for sort of the reaction to what you've seen there, or does it seem like a hot group at the time? Yeah, you know, I, I did question that a little bit. You know, we're still, we're still always trying to make sure we get miles you know, three and four minutes and out, three and four minutes and out. Uh, that was one. Uh, we were not real happy with one of our players. So that was one. Um, uh, you know, Miles' thing, he had some shots. but uh, And, you know, we have some other subs that we played and it didn't play as well today. So, yeah, it was a good run, but they, they uh, I'll take all the blame for the substitution, but there's some of it that's a reason, some of it that was is what we do. So, um, the well, defensively, obviously, coming off the Minnesota game, he played so well. And then tonight, had trouble containing Lyle. Was, was it as much what they were doing? Or did you guys play poor defensively, do you think? I thought our step ups were atrocious. You know, Nick, for some reason, just was, you know, he didn't feel bad for him. I mean, I just think he, he uh, again, it was the entire day. They just, uh, stepping up on those. He did such a great job in the last game, and we did do it well today. And give Lyle's credit, he made some shots. I mean, he made a couple long threes. I mean, listen, um, has not been a very good three-point shooting team. They made shots at the same time. As I told my team, as I told you guys, you know, I don't care what, what the hell the people in Columbus say. It's a good team. It's, it's got a lot of experience. They played the toughest schedule in the league as far as three road games and uh, Purdue at home. They should have beat Purdue if they make a free throw. They, um, you know, two tough places to play in Wisconsin and, and Minnesota. And, uh, you know, they're going through their issues. We're all going through, you know, just getting people to play well as a group has is, is been a little difficult. And, uh, you know, I think my young guys are, the road doesn't seem to be as good for them but uh, that's pretty normal too. But I'd say it was, they made some shots, but we did a poor job covering those high ball screens the way we wanted to. Yeah, we've had a couple baskets there in the last couple of minutes offensively. What, what was going on uh, maybe in the last few minutes or so when you got to Well, we turned it over, I think, four times at the end. You know, that Tom and that, that was a bad turnover when we were coming up. But, uh, you know, Nick had the one underneath the basket. We're down four. He's got a layup. And he pulled those through his hands and goes out. That was the story of the day. Um, so, um, you know, we made some baskets. We made some baskets down there. Um, but we just didn't, uh, we didn't cover them well. And they hit some shots. I mean, like I said, you know, Tate, I don't know how many he's got for the year, but give him credit. You know, the kid's a tough kid. The kid made a big play. And uh, that, that was the one that kind of broke our back. And I thought, uh, although Jackson's was too, neither one of our shooting be very good. So, gotta give them credit. They made they made some shots, um, but we did not defend like like we've been. We just had a, uh, a couple guys.
guys that struggled a little bit defensively, and that was the difference. With Miles turned, sorry, <coughs> with Miles turned turned overs. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, how much of it was going, going too fast sometimes? Uh, you know, I, I didn't think he traveled that too long. Okay. Honestly, he might have. I, I checked the film. I did, I did not. I was, you know, we were we put in some things that we want to get him the ball there. Um, the charge one, that was bang bang, and uh, that was a turnover. Um, at the end, he was trying to, you know, that one was a turnover. I, I thought two of the traveling, I really questioned personally, but. Uh, we're going to put it, the ball in his hands a little more. It's going to take him a little while to get used to it. But you know, he only took 12 shots, and uh, I thought he made some plays. You know, I thought he made some mistakes. He's going to make some mistakes until he gets back healthy. But uh, that's not what lost us the game. What lost us the game was the poor job we did defensively and the poor job we did in the post. But that was the difference in the game. Tom, you mentioned. Irritating, you get irritated when you get irritated. Yeah, I get ticked off. And I was at my place too. So, but, you know, probably in the last, uh, how long has that I've been here? 13 years. I don't know, between me and him and Bo, um, the last week of the season, there were many years we were all battling for championships. But, you know, nobody's satisfied with anything anymore, you know. And, I think uh, I felt for him a little bit because schedule. You know, the schedule was tough. I mean, how many people are going to Minnesota and Wisconsin and winning? Illinois, you know, it was a dogfight game. Who the hell's going to Virginia and winning? You know, they had that one won. Um, they don't have the depth they've had, but they, uh, they, he did a better job than I did. So if you're complaining here, they should really be complaining in East Lansing. Long time coming off a game like they had in this country, did you kind of expect the Ohio State team you saw today and sort of that pendulum thing? No, I didn't. I did not think they'd shoot like that, to be very honest with you. They haven't shown that all year. I mean, I wouldn't consider this a great shooting team. Uh, so I did not think they'd do that. I did think they'd play hard and when they got all those offensive rebounds. Um, that's what happens when your back's against the wall. On the other side of the coin, that's what happens when you relax a little bit. Think you accomplished something because you won a game, and that's what these damn freshmen got to figure out. You know, winning games here doesn't matter. We're more about than winning games, and and uh, you know we just I, I don't have an answer for it. <coughs> Hard to figure it out. With with Nick, you said it was all day. With, with him, with, did you see something early that he was just a little bit too jacked up, or or what? Like even before the game or anything. say this, um, did you watch the game? Mm -hmm. Did you think he was jacked up, or did you think he was mundane? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been. I'm, I'm, I'm just, he was, well, I'll answer it politely. He was not too jacked up. A couple of you guys, so Candace and uh, Aaron, didn't have, I'm not sure which guys were completely unhappy with, but those sort of playmakers, secondary playmakers, in class, how much more do you need more from, from those guys? And who do you need more from, I guess? Well, I've been telling you guys that you know, I need more from uh, McQuaid and, and uh, Aaron Harris, but you know, it just it didn't happen today. But uh, hey, we didn't play good enough, but you got to give Ohio State some credit. They uh, <coughs> made shots with back against the wall, and they deserved to win. Uh, you know, we. He turned over 17 times. That's one thing. I think all but one of Miles. Miles led the way, so I shouldn't be mad as that him. But his weren't about touchdowns the other way. Um, they had 18 points off our turnovers. So those turnovers that were for touchdowns are the ones that get you. And uh, just did not take care of the ball, and we did not guard well enough. And uh, it was a tough. Tough game they played. <coughs> Better than us, to be Time for one more if there is. Can you talk about the defensive issues? How much of that was just maybe a plan to let them try and shoot outside? How much was just. Oh, no, 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 no. no. When, when we were supposed to be stepping up on those ball screens and uh, we were going under them, we don't, we don't go under anything. So uh, that was uh, a poor job on our part. Um, and 
and we uh, God, we practice so well about that too. And, but uh, you know, like I said, if you know when you have a ball screen, there's four people involved. Their two and my two, and their two have to do their job, and my two have to do my job. If one of mine does a job, the other one doesn't. It's a problem. If one of theirs does their job, and the other one doesn't. It's a problem. It's a cool thing about basketball, it's a team sport. Everybody's got to do their job. As Bill Belichick said, if we didn't do our job. I thought Ohio State did, and uh, you know, I uh, shouldn't say this, but to tell I'm happy for him. Uh, from the standpoint of uh, the way people treat him around here, I'm happy for him. Um, and uh, he's won a lot of games here, and him and I have played in a lot of, a lot of championships here. And uh, you know, looking at Tate over the years, uh, I remember when they came up and beat us at our place to win a Big Ten championship, and they tied him. Um, so he don't have to answer to anybody. He doesn't need my support, but I probably don't need his.